Taking question number 9 of exercise 2.2 of inverse trigonometric functions. We have to write this function in the simplest form. The function is tan inverse of x upon square root of a square minus x square and uh, where modulus of x is less than a. Okay, and obviously you can see that if modulus of x would be greater than a then this square root will be having a negative term and this will make this value invalid. So the modulus of x is less than a is given to us because this expression is valid only for these values. Okay, now to solve this uh, expression or to write this expression or this function in the simplest form, I take tan inverse of x upon square root of a square minus x square. And looking at this value a square minus x square, okay, I make the substitution x is equal to a sine theta. So you have to remember that when we have been given a square minus x square and we have to simplify it keeping in mind that we have inverse trigonometrical functions so we can write x is equal to a sine theta as a possible substitution and x is equal to a cos theta can also be considered as a substitution okay so this is an important thing which you should be knowing regarding this question now placing x is equal to a sine theta i get this as 10 inverse of a sine theta upon square root of a square minus a square sine square theta okay i can take a as common so I get this as 10 inverse of a sin theta upon uh, a into square root of 1 minus sin square theta and you, and you must have guessed it that uh, 1 minus sin square theta is equal to cos square theta so this will become cos theta and this a and a can be cancelled so I can get this as equal to sin theta upon cos theta or 10 inverse of 10 theta or theta okay but i have substituted x is equal to a sin theta so this means that sin theta is equal to x upon a or theta is equal to sin inverse of x upon a right so this gives me theta is equal to sin inverse of x upon a so the simplest uh, value of this function is equal to sin inverse of x upon a taking question number 10 of exercise 2.2 we have to write this function 10 inverse of 3a square x minus x cube upon a cube minus 3a x square in the simplest form where a is greater than 0 and x belongs to the closed interval minus a upon root 3 to a upon root 3 or we can also say that x is greater than or equal to minus a upon root 3 and less than or equal to a upon root 3. So this interval is not much important because we, this interval is given because this function is only valid for this interval. So to make it a point this, this value has been given to us. Now to solve this question we are going to take the ex expression given and straight away I am going to put x is equal to a tan theta. Now why we had written x is equal to a tan theta because on placing x is equal to a tan theta first of all I am going to get a cube in all the terms in numerator and denominator so which is going to make my expression simpler and remaining the values of 10 are going to further simplify that is why i've taken and you're going to see how this expression work, uh, how this substitution works out so placing x is equal to a tan theta i'm going to get 3a square into a tan theta a cube 10 cube theta for x cube this as it is 3a x square so i'm going to get a square 10 square theta so i'm i'm going to take a cube common here a cube common in here so i'm going to get this as 10 inverse of a cube 3 10 theta minus 10 cube theta and here also i'm going to get a cube into 1 minus 3 10 square theta so you can cancel this quite obvious so i'm going to get this as equal to 10 inverse of 3 10 theta minus 10 cube theta upon 1 minus 3 10 square theta Okay, using this result, 10 3a is equal to 3 10 a minus 10 cube a upon 1 minus 3 10 a square a. Okay, I can write this expression as equal to 10 inverse of 10 of 3 theta. 10 inverse 10 can cancel out, so I'm going to get this as equal to 3 theta. Right, now I've substituted x is equal to a 10 theta. 
therefore tan theta can be written as equal to x upon a or theta is equal to tan inverse of x upon a so 3 theta can be written as equal to 3 times tan inverse of x upon a which is my required answer so this is how i am going to solve this question friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you